Hi guys, uh, welcome back. So tonight I'm doing a sort of like a spay fly type adaption of a Peter Ross. Now Peter Ross is a really famous sea trout fly but also has a history with salmon as well. So we're going to tie this on here as a crimp. Uh, so this is one of the 1.8mm bores with, well, I suppose that's what, 12mm and it's on a piece of black inner so therefore you'll have some sort of junction tubing uh, to join a hook to it if you're going to fish it so what I'm going to do is take my tying thread and start it on the inner tube here at the front and then I'm going to just glue that and at this point I'm going to take two little jungle cock eyes so the little trout sized ones from the front of the cape I'm going to tie one in on each side but pointing forwards uh, and their good side towards the tube because these are going to be folded back so uh, you can put them on top, you can put them on each side because, because once you're tying a spay fly that's kind of 360 degrees, it doesn't really matter uh, what direction they go on as such. So we're just with the tying thread then removing this step so building up like a little uh, ramp or cone to it. So simple fly. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tie in three uh, hackle stalks so a little bit like a like a Francis or something but what I'm using is uh, a grizzle hackle that I have stripped both sides of and then you'll get that sort of uh, striped marking on it. So we'll take one, tie it in on the near side. Another one. far side and flip the thing over and tie one underneath. So you want the hackle stalks to be curving out and then we just tie that off. So take these three stalks then sort of pull them together and cut and that'll mean they're all the same length. Shoo. Next one I'm going to do is tie in a little bit of Amherst and this is going to be like a fake hackle as such so we're going to take what, 10 fibres or so maybe and I'm going to tie that in and allow it to spread or envelop around the shank it doesn't get the whole way around, take another little bunch and do the same underneath. So this has that sort of teal effect as well. Because the traditional Peter Ross of course has a silver body with a red sealed front and a black hackle and a teal wing. So front of our fly or body of our fly I'm going to use uh, like a red spectra dubbin for this, but just use whatever red dubbin suits. If you want to use a synthetic one, or you want to use a seal or something like that. So I'll dub that onto my tying thread. And then I just varnish that little front section because it'll stop those uh, hackle stalks from slipping and also as we wrap the dubbing here into it it'll kind of bind down to it and again not slip. So we want to then just fold back our Amherst. So I suppose it's almost like a spay intruder type fly. And then we're going to add 
two hackles. So one's going to be a black soft hackle and the other one is going to be a small teal feather. So when you're looking at small duck feathers they can be quite curvy and that can cause us issues with the hackle when you wrap them that they might stick out all directions. So what I tend to do is to strip the so this is the good edge I suppose so as I wrap this that will curve back with the, uh, the fly this other edge I tend to sort of half strip it or, or totally strip it until I get to these straightish bits and they should do what we want them to do should do what we want them to do we find the tip separate it out and tie across that little gap And then we take our black soft hackle, strip the fluff. I'm going to double it. So I have videos on doubling hackles if you want in the technique session section that I have. So we strip that. Same idea, tie it in across its tip, flip that back. And then we'll wind that soft hackle in that gap between the Amherst and the tie-in of the teal hackle. My fingers are kind of in the way there, but I'm conforming the hackle to the way I want it to be. Fold it back on itself and break it. And then we're going to take our hackle pliers and wind that teal hackle on in front of that. So we'll just fold back the front bit and then these hackles tend to be quite short of the stock so you're only going to get maybe two turns of it anyway. As it comes around here I'll tie it off. Couple of turns. And that is our fly essentially done. So we'll fold back these jungle cock. And I said if you wanted you could finish your fly off at this stage of the head. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in like a little hybrid cone, drainer disc, whatever you want to use. So we'll set that up on the uh, needle. Fold everything back. And get a run a glue at the front of it and then we'll force a little disc back into that and that'll just keep our hackles sort of curved back. It also folds the jungle cock back in place and then we just take our scissors up to the edge of the disc and cut off the time thread. So now we want to Cut that inner tube and off, leave one two mil and flame it back. So that is our little fly tied. So I suppose it's a it's like a cross between a spay fly intruder type Francis, several different styles of fly in the one and adapts the classic. Peter Ross colours into it. So hopefully you like what you see. So if you did, uh, give us a like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Uh, and until next time, tight line. Thanks for watching.